OpenAI ChatGPT has launched a new feature, Code Interpreter, and this will revolutionize the future of the programming and AI space. Today, we're gonna take a look at how to use the Code Interpreter and some cool, fun use cases that you can actually try out yourself, even if you don't know how to write a single line of code. Now, as of right now, this seems to be available to ChatGPT Plus members. And if you are unable to use this, don't worry. Feel free to sit back and watch the video until the end to see exactly whether or not it's worth it for you to get it or not. Now, first things first, we'll go over to ChatGPT 4. And if you do not see this code interpreter option, that means you need to set this up onto your account. So I'm gonna go and basically click onto the settings at the bottom left go over to beta features and make sure you have the code interpreter option checked right there. And then you should be able to see this. Now, the first thing is with code and interpreting is, well, reading data. So why don't we put the code interpreter to the test and read a data file, which I did get off a website called Kaggle, which you can go ahead and search and log in and create data and actually download files yourself and let me go ahead and upload that. So here we have a data file and all you need to do is simply type analyze this data and press enter. And now we can see ChatGPT's code interpreter putting in the work. Now, essentially what it's gonna do is go step by step and read through the file. And essentially, if there's any issues regarding the data, it'll actually fix it and continue going through it. And this gives me similar vibes to almost AGI human-like ability, where essentially, if it's not working, it'll find a way to get to the end solution, which is to give data or essentially read this particular file. Now, this one in particular from the quick summary I saw was essentially showcasing details regarding medical data and it looks like some diseases and whatnot but it looks like it did crash so let's try this again so here we can see it is reading the file name and then it seems to know that it's related to health related information so you're seeing this first time again just like myself i do not know what is inside this data set besides the general topic of health related information and we can see here it's listing up to 19 different topics and these seem to be regarding lifestyle, age, your health, BMI, etc. Even see fried potato consumption. Interesting. Shout out to my French fry lovers out there. And now we can see it is showcasing 308,000 rows and 19 columns. That's a lot of rows actually. So imagine if you were go and actually read through an Excel sheet with 300,000 rows. Quite a lot. And now it's going and showcasing what is in here majority and it's saying majority do not have things such as diabetes arthritis there are more females than males in this data set which is interesting and it showcases some percentages now here essentially it is showcasing this summary so if this is enough for you great and for people who have no idea what is happening don't worry let's make this even easier let's say make this easier to read by putting it into a bar graph or chart. Now let's see if this understands what I would like to see. And like many others, we like visualizations. And now we're gonna see if this can make it into some sort of infographic or visual graph to make it much easier for people to see what exactly is going on. And this will showcase the true power of AI. Now, let's see here. It says, how do the broad nature is better to focus? So it's gonna ask me to pick one. Let's do, let's see here, distribution, age, exercise. Let's try this. Use number five, consumption habits. Now this is showcasing it says alcohol consumption, fruit consumption, green vegetables, and fried potato. So I think it'd be pretty cool to see this. We can already see that the earlier things were stating more females than males. So if I were to use particular the uh, other options, then obviously the data might not be as concise here, but we can see age and other things. But here we got this nice, beautiful graph. And here, let's just look at the graph. We'll worry about this additional details layer and here. 
alcohol consumption, frequency and consumption. Now these numbers don't, at least right now to myself, are foreign. I'm not too sure what they represent. So let's go ahead and try to see if we can figure this out. And it basically says the majority of individuals have low alcohol consumption. Interesting here. And basically they have high fruits, vegetables more spread out, and most individuals have low fried potato. So basically it's showcasing these numbers. Let me ask what do the numbers mean? And I'm not gonna go into super detail. I just wanna showcase what a typical run through of what somebody would probably use this for. And now we can see this explanation here. And basically it's showcasing, or at least it's trying to explain what this is. So it says zero individuals don't consume at all. X of 10 could represent, at least right here, consume a certain amount of alcohol and their fruits, etc. And basically we can go back to these numbers and see again. Now, this is just one example of what the power of ChatGPT code interpreter is doing. Now, for people who want a short, quick sentence, what exactly does this mean? It means it's going to make your life much easier. Imagine you're a data scientist. You're somebody working with large amounts of data. You don't wanna sit here and read through and think your brain crazy amounts of information trying to figure out what is what. All you could do is type it in to code interpreter ChatGPT get some summarization information. And then as this progresses to the future, becomes even more advanced, who knows what's possible. Now that is just for data. Let's go see some other cool facts you can do. This one's actually pretty cool and it can actually see images. So let me show you what do I mean by that. So here, take a look at this image. This is the reference image I'm going to be using. And essentially I'm gonna show you how ChatGPT can actually see this image. So here you can actually go ahead and upload the image and actually creates a color palette. So palette like this and press enter and check this out. Now, for some people, this might be a little boring, might not be that cool, but once you see the results, you'll start to realize that these AI companies, these software, these programs can actually see what you're showcasing, aka one, this image and this might not be that impressive because we already have AI image generation and all that fun crazy stuff. But here you can see this is the current color palette. Now, you're probably thinking this looks nothing like this, but it did recognize some of the colors. And again, you're limited to five. So if you can only pick five, it picks these. And now what we can do is turn the image into a GIF. And let's do, make it a cool video. So now really nothing fancy. We're gonna see generate this into a GIF. And right now they say only have one image at the moment. And what they're gonna do is simply apply this animation. And basically, let's just do that. Pick the best one. So one thing I noticed with this is it's actually asking you what it wants to do first. And then you have to combine it with a response that based off of what it's asking. So it's almost as if it kind of knows what you need it just needs to confirm and now we're gonna see this turn this image that we just saw create a color palette into a gif as of right now so now let's see let's go ahead and we have this download image let me go ahead and download this really quick and so what it did is it essentially used multiple frames and basically since it's only an image it can only showcase different frames but as you can see, if I were to go and click through it, it is literally rotating. So let me actually go here and just see if I can tab it in here. And look at this. It's literally created a rotating animation, 30 plus images just from that little type prompt, which we can see this becoming even more powerful in the future. But for now, that is a cool little quick effect that you can do. And another thing, this is the crazy fun thing that anybody zero coding can do right now is turn almost anything that at least right now that I know of with a URL to a QR code. So if you have social media, Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube, whatever it is, and you want somebody to have your QR code, guess what? Let's do this. Creates a QR code that links to YouTube. Now, if you have a particular profile, you can actually do that here, but for generalization, I'm just gonna see if it just does it to youtube.com. Now, we'll see the moment of truth. 
will this be able to create a QR code that links to youtube.com? Next thing you know it, guess what? You can go ahead and get crazy fancy with this, come up with your own ideas, and next thing you know it, you can do a bunch of cool other stuff. Now here is showcasing download the QR code file. So here's showcasing the QR code and just tested it right now. And guess what it does? It links up to YouTube. So that is actually pretty cool that we can do this with ChatGPT. So if you are watching this, obviously on YouTube, then guess what? Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to see more content in the latest, greatest AI space.